Hello everybody, this is Brian from quantlabs.net. Uh, I just wanted to show you, I'm trying to use Postgres SQL uh, to connect with uh, C Sharp for .NET. So what I'm going to show you, uh, I'm just go into my Razor SQ. Uh, I just did a, a test, a test database or test schema with an ETF uh, table. And if I just do a select star, this is all the results I get. All right, so that's what I expect in the C Sharp app. Um, this little project here uh, works, um, but there's a little trick to it. I'm probably being lazy or probably being a hard ass. I don't know. Doesn't matter, but we got it working. Um, so what we've got is um, basically uh, let me just uh, let me just run it. All right. So uh, it builds in my Visual Studio, no problem. Um, you're supposed to fill out all this info to connect to the database. Uh, I've, I've hard coded it. I'm going to actually show you. So this is what I've done. I've hard coded it as here. Um, it does the query, so I'm going to continue. Uh, again, this is Visual Studio 2013. And here's my results. So there you go. Uh, this now works, so I can now manipulate uh, all my stuff in Postgres using C Sharp. So there's an interesting trick to it. Um, and uh, hopefully I'll help you out. Uh, it's a good little article, and uh, uh, I had to do this little trick to hard code it all to get it working. But nonetheless, it works. That's the main thing. Other than that, talk to you later.